Hi, uh, just going to do a quick tutorial on how to do a, a listicle or infographic in Canva. So I'm logged into Canva here uh, and I'm just going to search for infographic and type it in and I was looking for it recently um, and so it brings up a, a number of infographics. So what you're looking at here are sort of possible layouts and you don't worry about the colours or anything like that at the moment and you think okay now which of these will I go with? Well I'm going to go with this one here um, and I'll adjust it afterwards. So I'm going to click on this and wait a few seconds uh, and up it comes. Now it's a bit small so I'm going to zoom in a bit more so that I can kind of see it um, and I can see okay mine isn't about social media I'm going to have a different topic um, but I'm going to go with uh, this uh, scheme uh, at the moment. So um, just looking at these diagrams over here um, if I click on it here uh, you can see up here it says ungroup okay and that means that the circle on the inside with the twitter symbol and the blue circle on the outside are sort of grouped together so i'm going to ungroup it and you can see now we've two items okay so i'm going to get rid of the inner item i think that's the inner one there oh no wrong one so i'll just hit the undo button on here and try i might have to move it out of the way sorry it just doesn't seem to be letting me yeah i'm just going to move it out of the way and I'm going to click on the inner one there and just delete it. Uh, so then I'm going to move this back uh, over here. And what I want to do is replace it with my own little placeholder. So I'm going to go over to elements over here. So click on elements. And these little um, mountainy grassy things, what we're looking for uh, is a circle. Okay, that's perfect. So we're going to click and drag it and we're going to put it on the inside. Now it's too big at the moment. So I'm going to click and drag it down and make it a bit smaller and then put it on the inside, okay? And then we can position it and we think, oh, that's about right. So then we're gonna select the two of the items. So I've got to hold down shift and, and oops, clicked on too many things, um, and select the two of them. So I've got the two of them selected there. And so I can click on position and to make sure that they're perfectly lined up, I'm gonna click on position and I'm gonna say center aligned, uh, and that's grand. Okay. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to group them. So they're now acting as one item. So I'm going to get rid of all these ones here and delete them. And then just click on them and press delete and delete and delete and delete. Delete. Okay, and I have my one up here. So I'm going to copy and paste these. So I'm going to click on it here and then click on duplicate, which is up here top right. Duplicate, and I've got one of them. And I'm going to duplicate it again and drag it down. That's two. How many do I need? Uh, and I need another one here. So I'm going to duplicate that. Okay. And I need to duplicate it again. Okay, so now I've got placeholders uh, that I can put photographs in uh, and they're all they're all sort of matching, which is great. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at my uploads and I'm going to use uh, the images in here. So, for example, I've got this boot over here, so I'm going to click and drag on the boot. And then as I go over, you can see at this point, looking behind the picture, I can see it's gone inside that little circular placeholder and let go. And you can see it's positioned uh, inside. So if I want to move the positioning of it, I click and then kind of double click in. And now you can see that the photo is selected and I can shuffle it left or right. OK, and you get that little grid business going on, the sort of nine squares going on. I think, OK, that's about fine. And then I click away and you can see that the boot uh, is positioned. So if I wanted, um, for example, a different photograph, uh, what have I got here? Um, uh, and I've got this one here and then I shuffle. Oh, it doesn't seem to want to go into it. And again, sometimes I have difficult there. It popped in. And again, if I want to move it, I double click and I shuffle around and I decide what I like the best um, uh, to get it in. Now you can select each of these texts here and you can actually change it and you can say mountains. Okay, uh, and then I might need to change the size of the font uh, so that it'll fit, uh, etc. 
it's easy enough to recolor things so you just click on them so for example if I click on this uh, picture over here and you see if I click on the inside it's the photograph I've selected and if you click slightly further out it's the outside edge is the color and you can see this is the color up here that's selected and if I click here I could change that color so if I just make it pink it's very obvious and I could do the same up here click on the outside edge and make it pink um, and so you can work through it and change the colors of things if I didn't like that color on the background there you can see I've selected it it's now that color there and I can click in here and uh, change the color over now I have to say it works most of the time sometimes things are grouped together so for example this border up here uh, I'll just do this blue one down here to, because it's a bit more obvious uh, when I click on it now I have to click away sometimes and then click again on it. It can be tricky enough and you just have to kind of click in again and you can see I've only got one bit of the border. So sometimes, and I haven't found a really good way around this, uh, you just have to sort of go click, click, click and go through and change them uh, individually uh, as you go through. Okay, so you can just adjust everything uh, as you go through um, and you can add in extra pages if you need to. This one here is duplicate the page uh, or add in an additional page um, uh, or, or add in any notes uh, that you need to and you can adjust uh, the text as needs be. Okay, see you later.